Okay, so folks, so we're here again today for another unboxing of things. And this stack of stuff that we have. Main main event today is the Manfrotto. Uh, this is the 504 HD with the 445 GB sticks. Um, and I would say, as far as tripods go, I mean, this is definitely the top of the Manfrotto line. Uh, again, like if you're using... A whole lot of really professional equipment. Um, you probably used to Sackler, O'Connor, and those are definitely better. But for about twelve hundred dollars, these are in the. These are definitely in the at least the prosumer um, class. But I expect them to be more than enough for my needs. Here we go. I ordered these off Amazon. They were the same price from BMH, and I think Adorama might sell them as well. So I did order both as one, so I ordered the head with the sticks. And I do not know how it's going to be packaged in this bag. It doesn't look anything else in the box down there in the hole all right no it comes with a nice little bag here the bag feels pretty pretty solid it's got it's pretty thick here it's got the hard bottom carrying candle on the top so, definitely a good good uh, you can just feel that it's you're gonna get a few years out of this bag here. All right. There she blows. Comes pre-assembled. Um, so we won't have to do a separate unboxing of the head, as it were. So there you've got it. There's the head there. I'll pull this out. I mean this is a this is heavy. This is the 509 HD. Might have said 504 at the beginning. These are the 545 GB sticks. These are the ground braces. Um and I just decided to go with ground braces this time. I don't know if that's going to be my thing or not. Um, but I mean, the weight of this thing just... Oh. I mean, that is a heavy tripod. I do not know the exact weight. But I'll tell you what. It's not lightweight. It's definitely a sturdy piece of equipment. So, let's see here. As you know, I hold my phone in my hand while I do this, so you are going to get drunk watching as part of the show. I'm going to try to extend this thing down here. Get this thing set up. Somewhat. I'm not going to fully extend it here. Um, well, obviously that's, so a couple of things right off that I see, for one, it's got a huge spread on it, and it looks like it can extend out all the way, so you've got a knob here to extend your ground spreader, and it looks like it'll go another, let's see how low this thing will go. So there you go. I mean, that is a that is a low spread. I mean, that's pretty pretty dang impressive. We're about I guess this is I guess about 18 inches off the ground here. That's how low this thing will go. It's a really nice feature, especially if you're doing short films and stuff like that or music videos. You can get the maximum. 
opportunity. And this thing's going to go pretty high too. I'm, I've not extended it up, but um, it's definitely a, lo a long stick. So, um, all right, well, let's take a look at it. It's had a nice uh, rubberized grip down here on the handle. And you can get shorter handles than these for your Dana Dolly or whatever. This is, I think, the 100, I think this is a 100 millimeter ball uh, for this. So, we'll see. So you've got your uh, drag and your counterbalance here. So you've got this drag system in here. Right now it's you know what to play with this. You got your balance system. This does have a automatic, well not an automatic, but a built-in three-step uh, counterbalance system so that for your heavier rigs um, you can get a little bit of counterbalance to center your camera a little better. Uh, speaking of which, it has the advanced advanced balancing recorder system, the ABR, um, which we'll see if that works. I'm, I'm assuming there's batteries in it right out of the box. Um, So the batteries are not in it right out of the box, or if they are, they're sealed off. So, um, but basically, what this does is, when you have your camera mounted, you put your rail in here. You can push the record button once your is your camera is balanced, and it will record it. Next time you move to another location, if you're using the same rig. Uh, this will give you a red light green light indicator and tell you which direction to slide it and then turn green when your camera is back in its correct balance position, which is a cool feature. Um, it also has uh, it's kind of dark down in there, but a uh, color back uh, backlit uh, balance or level. So that's you know, just user friendly. Um, got the fluid drag here and it's pretty simple just plus and minus uh, if you want to increase or decrease your drag um, and I, of course a big flat base here um, and a long it's pretty long plate so this can definitely take a larger camera I think the weight for this is 30 pounds um, and the sticks I think are like 55 so uh, you you can put your red on here or you can put an area on here this is this is definitely a, a solid piece um, now I haven't tested it so you know I'll do a separate video with a review after I've had a few weeks playing with it but I can tell you right out of the box it's a pretty Im impressive uh, camera uh, or not camera um, Head and stick system. I'm looking for the, the rod. I'm assuming this, there it is. Um, extendable. So let's see how how extendable it is. So it will extend out quite a bit. That's about. It's taller than the camera will go. I to keep calling it a camera. That is a long extendable arm there, so that's a cool feature. And feels good. Manual and stuff. It's a nice bag, nice, nice system here. I've, I've, I can tell just from feeling it that it is definitely a heavy piece of equipment. Uh, we'll see how it does. I'll start using it this week. We'll have the Ursa Monday, I think, and we'll probably do a video once we have as we assemble it. Um, but I think it'll work just fine for what we're going to do. So I'll review the head later. Uh, also for the sticks, one cool thing about these 
and dis disattach the base from the leg really easily and then you have your spike. I know this isn't looking too good. Um, screw focus. Right, just focus. And then to reattach it. Let's get the wave from right here. Just clicks back down. And you're reattached. Focus there. Nice heavy duty rubber piece. I imagine you get, you'll get several years out of that. And hopefully it's not an expensive piece to replace. Um, but yeah, you might, there's a couple of other things you might get for this system if you were to be using it, especially for more professional work, which is probably why you're getting something like this. Uh, maybe a ball head adapter here to attach your slider. Uh, this is a 100 uh, millimeter ball, and uh, you can get another adapter you get to put to mount a, a slider right to it, and then you can mount the head on top of your slider also uh, there's a couple extra parts there but they're relatively inexpensive um, like I said you can get a shorter handle also if you need it for your Dana dolly or something but yeah other than that pretty professional looking piece definitely feels like it uh, got a couple other things that was the main course here's the dessert uh, got a couple of Core, this is the SWX, I think that's the name, uh, yeah, Core SWX, uh, 98 uh, watt hour batteries here. Uh, these are the Slims, and I don't know if I'll actually end up regretting that uh, once I have the, this is for the, gonna, all going to be on the Ursa G2, uh, so I do not know if maybe these will be an issue because they're tall and skinny. Uh, there's another version that comes with, uh, you can order, it's the Micro. You got the Slim, the Micro, I think there's another one. The Micros are kind of short and a little bit fat, but they're, you know, a little bit, probably about that tall. Um, and I don't know how this is actually all going to fit onto the camera, because we have, for the Ursa, we're adding on the V, the v plate and uh, the SSD uh, adapter, and then the battery will mount on the back so how all that will play together we'll find out once I have it uh, so I'm only going to open one of these for the sake of um, maybe having to send one back or both back so hold on while I do a very unprofessional job of camera work Um, I also got the 98 watt hour I, I, because of budget. Um, I, I get the, getting a lot of stuff here. This is expensive to do if you're trying to get a Ursa going out of the box. Um, I was I wanted to go with the 150, and again I don't know if, how well these these should be just fine. Um, they are they have the Panasonic cells. These are. Uh, it used to be 12 cells down to 8 cells in here and uh, it will charge in three and a half hours and this is supposed to hold for three and a half hours so theoretically you can have one charging while you're using the other one to keep them in constant rotation I might end up needing to get a third just to definitely gonna need some backups but again batteries are cheap to lease so you can rent them for projects if you know you're going to need backups. So I'm not going to... Let's see. I've never used one of these. Um, yeah, there it is. So it comes about half charged. I want to drop this on the charger before we mess with it too much but as the digital display 
gives you the run time left and once you uh, put your load on this uh, it'll give you basically how much time you got based on what you're running um, this is the V mount uh, I went V mount just because V mounts a little cheaper uh, I know that gold gold mounts are a little bit more secure for cinema work but uh, you got your D out and USB so it's, it's, it's nice it feels good uh, it's got a rubberized coating um, it just feels solid it's like a solid piece one thing, good thing about the 98 is that I think you can put it on a plane um, with the 150s you might be in a situation where you have to send it to yourself and again if you're going to do that you might as well rent it uh, so there you go one of those also got the dual charger to go with it um, again the idea being charge it both before you go to the set and then keep them on with continuous rotation since it has the three and a half hour charge time So this is the X2 battery charger by Core. You got the two V mount charges, the indicator. So yeah, nice. like that that's locked on nice solid piece um, these are a little more affordable than Anton Bauer um, and from what I've seen so far on the reviews it seems to be that they're they're good they're good up there up there they're professional grade uh, my main concern is going to be will 98 watt hours uh, be sufficient for the load that I'll be putting on it eventually here all right what else we got one more thing oh the Mac, Mac, black magic hand grip i probably should open this with the black magic opening monday but yeah came in this box so why not doing things one-handed is always Fun. So there you go. And this will be mounted over there to what we looked at yesterday. That rosette. For the Black Magic Cinema Camera. And this, uh, not the Cinema Camera, the Ursa G2. And that does have a rosette built on specifically for this hand grip. So, out of the box we got here, you got your Velcro hand guard and your um, audio cable, or is it? A little phone cable. sensitive and there you go this, in the hand. this phone's auto feature auto focus feature is less than to be desired this is the Samsung S9 I'm using it's got the record button ours and, uh, I guess that's Zoom. No. We shall see once we get it all together. So that's it uh, for today. 
and we'll do some more on all of this uh, once we have the Ursa and we'll start and we'll do an unboxing of the Ursa Monday and then probably Tuesday an assembly of everything you see before you um, so I gotta get ready to go we're doing a live stream today uh, for Mary Poppins Jr. If you need any broadcast streaming right now, there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of events are shutting down venues, so um, people are staying at home. We're streaming to them, so if you have a business in need of conferencing, live video streaming, uh, if you got shows, theaters, performances, give us a call, 502-612-8367, find us on darkstar.tv on the on the web or email us at live at darkstar.tv and also the stuff that you see before you is available for rent so let us know if you need anything and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow